When in your life everything is going against you, when in your life you're thoroughly exhausted, and when in your life you think you cannot possibly hold on any longer, understand that the time to perform has come. Excuse me. An ex-Indian Army officer and a world record holder in adventure sports, which is undefeated for the last six years. Internationally acclaimed author, adventurer, thinker, orator, and social worker. A motivational speaker, adventurer, and an author. His bestseller book, In Quest of the Last Victory, published by Pearson Longman, is being called the best motivational book ever and is recommended in schools, colleges, and training institutions all over the country and abroad. Wow, and his achievements and feats don't end here. He is also the founder, director, and president of Ada Welfare Society, an organization working to See, I have two choices. Either I live my life or I fight for disability rights. I prefer to live my life. And uh, that's what. You cannot make the mountains inclusive. You have to go and, uh, you know, climb those mountains. Uh, I'll just start my story uh, from somewhere. Uh, we can have the presentation. So see, I was a very, uh, you know, small child, third, fourth standard. I was not able to do the regular things which other children could do. I could not make a kite to take off. I could not uh, rotate a top. I could not catch a ball. I could not hit a ball. I could not run fast. My handwriting was bad. And teachers called me a weak student. Ch children used to fight with each other that we don't want Naveen in our team. So, you know, it led to a level of frustration. And I say frustration is a very positive energy. You know, it's important to get frustrated in life. If we don't get frustrated, we won't take decisions. Like I say, you know, जब मोहब्बत नफरत या जुल्म हद से बढ़ जाता है तो बगावत होती है। When love, hate, or oppression crosses a certain limit, then you rebel. And for us, it would work good if our tolerance level is low, you know, so that we get frustrated sooner and we take decisions sooner. And as a child, I did not know that, but I somehow I ended up using it in the right direction. I started working hard. Now, when I was in 9th or 10th standard, I was playing a lot of sports, football, athletics, boxing, swimming, at different levels. And children used to fight with each other. If you want Naveen in your team, we want two players in exchange. So, you know, uh, bringing about that kind of a change requires that amount of time also and that kind of efforts. Now, uh, I, uh, mm, you know, I, I used to run for about uh, five kilometers every day, exercise about one hour. And uh, then one fine day, I started having breathing problem, bronchitis. I did not know what it was. I went to the doctor after a few days. And doctor, he made me sit next to him. And in a very affectionate, very understanding voice, he said, you know, uh, son, take it. You have to give up sports. And if with this disease, you cannot play sports. And it took good about 10 minutes trying to explain to me. From next day, I started running double the distance, exercising double the time. So, uh, you know, in our lives, people will try to tell us uh, uh, what we will be able to do and what we will not be able to do. They might be our parents, they might be our teachers, they might be doctors, they might be anybody. But ultimately, what you will be able to do, it's your right to decide. Only you can decide. It's your area of jurisdiction. And that's what we have to understand. Uh, sometimes we will say, what if you fail? You know, you have a certain dream, you fail. I say, in my chosen dream, in, on my chosen path, I would prefer to fail any time rather than to you know, change my decision and follow something else. So uh, uh, now I, uh, uh, when I joined the National Defense Academy at the age of 18, my seniors, just to pull my leg, they said, which core of army you would want to join? So I said, the para commandos, I want to become a commando. They laughed. They said, four days of training and you will change your mind. Four years of training, this question was asked to me again and again, but I did not change my mind. One, I say, कि वो आदमी ही क्या जो सुधर जाए। Basically, when somebody uses that phrase, it means he has started compromising in life. So uh, uh, the big thing is not that I wanted to become a commando. Nothing, nothing great about that. The big thing is that I did not compromise with my dream, because when we compromise with our dreams, we become weak. 
uh, we are not ready to face challenges. Uh, so that was what, and you know, in the army we were taught that uh, uh, if you think your enemy can attack from three possible directions, he is going to attack you from the fourth one, from where you are not expecting him. And because that is job requirement, that's his job profile, not to come from where you are expecting him. And the same thing is true about life. The challenges, the difficulties that you are expecting or preparing to face, you will not get to face them. You will get to face a totally different one. How you face them, that's, that choice lies with you. So, you know, uh, being a very fit person, uh, uh, a very good sportsman, we can just go to the next pictures, a couple of them. Uh, most of the pictures are intended to impress you all. Uh, next. Next. I'm the original six-pack man. You know, Bollywood mein six packs have come much later. Uh, uh, okay. So, I believe in, you know, fit, uh, like we all have been given so much by God already. You, some people, they say, okay, I don't believe in God. Okay, so I say, whatever, you have some things with you. And you don't appreciate what you have. You, we have a body, but we don't appreciate how fit we can keep it or uh, likewise. So, I say, you have so much to be happy about. And people say, what do I have to be happy about? You know, what's there with me? I have nothing. So I say, just hold your breath for two minutes and you'll come to know what you have. So, you know, just because we are, that breath is coming, we're not appreciating it. Uh, when we lose it, then we realize what it is. And uh, the next picture, yeah. So I met with this accident and uh, my whole body was paralyzed and this was the condition in which I had to live for uh, four months and then two years in the hospital. And uh, when such losses, you know, such injuries, such losses happen in our life, any loss, we may lose a dear one. I see so many people asking the same question, why me? Why did it happen to me? Uh, different religions have answered it differently, different people have answered it differently. I find the question stupid. Why would it not happen to me? Why was I thinking I am the chosen one? Everybody else would have to die, I would not have to. You know, I would not have to suffer. Well, how, how come I was so naive? So, uh, uh, if anybody has to suffer in this world, I might also have to. I would have my share of difficulties. And as a matter of probability, if it was to come to someone else, better it came to me. And uh, I believe in difficulties and challenges. So, uh, you know, doctor said maybe he may survive three days, you know, I was in a very remote hospital. And uh, I have an Urdu couplet which I have dedicated to that time. Aise ruksat hue hamare janaze se bo Aise ruksat hue hamare janaze se bo Ke phir mud ke nahi dekha, phir yaad nahi karte Naveen ye ilm nahi unko Hum jaysay aashik maut se mara nahi karte Sometimes people, you know, express surprise. Oh, did you hear about such and such person? He faced so many difficulties and he still succeeded. I say, I would be surprised if somebody did not face difficulties and succeeded. You succeed against difficulties only. What's strange about that? So that's the role difficulties play in our lives. And uh, similarly, I have another Urdu couplet uh, which I have dedicated to difficulties and that goes something like this. Ay khuda de kuch aur taklif mujhe Ay khuda de kuch aur taklif mujhe Nai koi chunauti to de Ke zindagi ko aur jine ko ji chahta hai Kuch, kuch tu aandhiyo ko utha Kuch tu faan to ho Ke aasmano ko phir chune ko ji chahta hai So, that's the kind of role difficulty to play in our lives Next, I enjoyed my life before my injury also, and I have enjoyed it more, more, maybe more after, and it works for me to believe that I've enjoyed more after my injury. And uh, sometimes people say, you know, have you ever been sad in your life? I don't know, uh, I have not, I don't remember being sad ever. Uh, except, uh, you know, uh, just to enjoy sadness, maybe uh, sometimes I listen to sad songs. So, of Mukesh and Talat Mehmood and all that. So, uh, uh, once I've been sad in my life, and that was when my first girlfriend had left me. And I was just sitting, one of my seniors came, he said, what happened? I said, sir, my girlfriend left me. He said, don't worry, by the time three, four leave you, you'll get used to it. <laughs> and uh, looking back, he was right. So, uh, next, next. When, whenever in life, you know, you are in a doubt whether to do or not to do, do. Because the regret of doing is less, you know, regret of not doing something is much more. So it's better to do whatever, you know, get an opportunity for. Next. I flew powered hang gliders, micro light aircrafts, and I have a phobia, a fear of flying, you know, uh, especially when I'm not behind the controls. 
So, uh, I, I face whatever, you know, I'm afraid of, I face that first, I try to do it more. Next, next, next. Yeah, this is a Maruti 800, 18 year old car and in 2000 I went in this car to lay and uh, that's what I could afford at that time but I've always been, you know, uh, doing my expectations and all. There were, there were times, because sometimes people say, do you do it for getting fame? You cannot do anything for getting fame. You know, you, you cannot climb a Mount Everest just to achieve fame. Otherwise, everybody would have done it. So there were so many times nobody knew. Had I died on those expeditions somewhere, something would have gone wrong. The world would not have come to know. It's just my love and passion. Next, this was a mountain stream that we had to drive through in that very car. Next, this is the world record expedition that I undertook. We can just go over the pictures. Next, 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 next. This is when I reached the top of that mountain pass. Next, 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 next. Yeah, this is the organization that I run. Again, we have a few pictures of the activity. And uh, how I look at it is, I am not, it's not that I am working for some underprivileged children or something like that. Those children are more privileged, uh, trust me. They are much more happier children and they, they, they give me much more joy than I could possibly give them. Uh, because till the time, you know, in our life, we are working for ourselves. We are always restless. We are not happy. We want more, more, more. And whenever we start working for other others, you know, even a little is enough to give us happiness. So it, it's, it's real joy. Next. 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 Yeah. Uh, just, we can go over the next pictures in continuation. Finish it off. And those are my two books, Veer Usko Janye and In Quest of the Last Victory. It took me eight years to write that book. Next, 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 next. Just go over the pictures. Okay, the previous one, and that's an interesting one, you know. Uh, the one with Arnav Goswami. You know, we were invited for a conference in Bangalore. And uh, we were both to de deliver talks. And uh, uh, fortunately, we were given separate times to talk. <laughs> next, next, next. Next, 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 next. We can just finish it off. Uh, maybe a few more pictures, that's all. Okay, maybe we can just stop it, it's enough. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I'll just conclude with a poem of mine. You know, a poet has a mic in hand. He cannot resist the temptation to recite one more poem. So, uh, my poem, Virus Ko Janye, I'll just recite that and end with that. Uh, that poem goes something like this. Na kare vichlit mushkil na jisko jhukai Haar jisse haar gai soche bahut upai Veer usko chaniye jo har sankat har jai Vivek ko apni shakti bana sa yam kukar prabal Vikat stiti mein reh apne asoolo par tu adik achal Jo tak maga gaya apni karma bhoomi par Wo insaan hi kya tahela aega जो चलता रहा तूफानों में अपनी मंजिल को अंत में वो ही तो पाएगा संकट जिसकी शक्ति बने आंधी न जिसको हिलाए हार जिससे हार गई सोचे बहुत उपाय वीर उसको जानिए जो हर संकट हर जाए जज्बा जोश जुनून जतन ये जो तेरी पहचान है जज्बा जोश जुनून जतन ये जो तेरी पहचान है वो इंसान क्या जिसे अपने होने पर नहीं अभिमान है चार दिन आगे चार दिन पीछे हर कोई मिट्टी में मिल जाएगा चार दिन में जो कर गया कुछ वो ही तो महान कहला आएगा न करे विचलित मुश्किल न जिसको झुकाए हार जिससे हार गई सोचे बहुत उपाय वीर उसको जानिए जो हर संकट हर जाए थैंक यू If we have time for any questions, then maybe we can. Maybe we can take it in the tea break. Right. You let me. Can I have the mic?